Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about spontaneous awakening trial that is daily interruptions of sedation in mechanically ventilated patients also known as SAT. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. What do we mean by SAT? Spontaneous awakening trial. It is a period of time during which a mechanically ventilated patient's sedative medications are stopped. Patients are allowed to wake up and spontaneously achieve a normal level of alertness. Now, why do we need this spontaneous awakening trial? Mechanically ventilated patients are sedated to reduce the physiologic and psychological stress associated with respiratory failure and improve the tolerance of invasive life support measures. Mechanically ventilated patient who receive continuous sedative infusion will receive both a spontaneous awakening trial and spontaneous breathing trial that is SBT daily during his ICU stay. Once the patient passes the spontaneous awakening trial, SBT is tried. Now, what is the need for sedation and analgesia in mechanically ventilated patients to prevent pain, to prevent anxiety? to decrease oxygen consumption, to decrease the stress response and patient ventilator synchrony. What do we mean by patient ventilator synchrony? It is a matching between the patient regarding time, flow, volume or pressure demands of the patient's respiratory system and the ventilator, which supplies such demands during mechanical ventilation. Patient ventilator AC croning is just the opposite that is the mismatch between the above mentioned criteria. As we discuss the use of sedation in a mechanically ventilated patient, let's discuss two topics that is inadequate sedation and over sedation. Inadequate sedation that is under sedation may lead to pain, anxiety and agitation. Patient ventilator dyssynchrony Self-removal of tubes and catheters, which may be intravenous lines, endotracheal tubes, nasogastric tube, and Foley's catheter, etc. Care provider assault, where patient may cause harm to the care providers. Next is over sedation, which may cause prolonged mechanical ventilation, where patient's length of stay in ICU gets extended and may lead to tracheostomy and complications like deep vein thrombosis and ventilator-associated pneumonia, inability to communicate, failure to initiate spontaneous breathing trials, and increased risk of delirium. To maintain an optimal level of sedation, RAS scale is used, that is Richmond Agitation Sedation Scale, which we have previously discussed in one of our videos. Richmond Agitation Sedation Score is the most validated and most widely used tool to assess depth of sedation. RAS is mostly used in the setting of mechanically ventilated patients in the intensive care unit to avoid over and under sedation. Now let's get into the main session that is SAT process. Steps in the Spontaneous Awakening Trial Before applying the SAT process, a safety screen is performed in order to go through the process, which involves no active seizures, no alcohol withdrawal, no paralytic agents, no agitation, no myocardial ischemia and a normal intracranial pressure. When the patient has any one of these criteria, it indicates the patient fails and it is not safe to shut off the patient's continuous analgesics or sedative infusions and then we can reassess after 24 hours. When all these criteria are absent, the patient passes and then spontaneous awakening trial is performed where all the continuous sedative infusions are turned off. And if the patient feels sad, restart sedatives if necessary, half the dose and then reassess after 24 hours. And if the patient passes sad, then SBT process that is spontaneous breath trial is applied. How do we know that the patient passes SAT process? The failure criteria includes anxiety, agitation, respiratory rate more than 35, SPO2 less than 88%, respiratory distress, acute cardiac arrhythmia, and intracranial pressure more than 20. 
When all these criteria are absent, it means that the patient has passed SAT process and ready to go for the SBT process. Now, apart from the failure criteria, if the patient is able to open his or her eyes to verbal stimulation or does not display any of the failure criteria after 4 hours of shutting of sedation, the nurse will conclude the patient has passed the SAT. After which, spontaneous breathing trial begins. This is all about today's video regarding spontaneous awakening trial which is tried for the mechanically ventilated patients who are under sedation and analgesics. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.